Good morning. I'm out here in the garden. I need to harvest some of this lettuce. It is... Some of it's planted. Like, this one here is okay, but, like, some of them are two or three close together, and it's getting kind of stressed. Some of the bottom leaves are kind of nasty, so I want to harvest some of that. And I found a couple blueberries that I have never heard of before that I want to plant here, so I think I'm going to harvest some lettuce. Joey cat. I think I'm going to harvest some carrots. Just because they're, some of them are looking kind of big, and I don't, like, this was a pretty big, I don't know how large the carrot's going to be, if it's ready. I'm just going to harvest a few here and there that look really big and just make space, I guess, for these smaller ones here to grow. I don't know. But I'm going to try and see what they're like anyway. Maybe I'll make a salad or something. I can harvest some of those collars there and some more greens. I've been harvesting the greens for months now, and they're just now finally starting, I think, to get to the end of their life, because stuff is really starting to get to them. So I'm going to have to probably take them out and replace them with something else here soon. There's a ladybug there. Hopefully, get some beans. Look how pretty that is. Rapid eye blueberries. I've never heard of them before. They get much larger than high bush blueberries and of course it's much larger than the low bush blueberries and they can handle the heat here and the sometimes dry conditions and I guess they're more disease resistant and everything so I guess I kind of really lucked out finding these two things but I'm going to plant one here one there and one there kind of in between these bananas back here Bloody wildflowers or weeds or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Get this one here. Put here. And here. Becky Blue. Blueberry. There we go. Becky. <laughs> um, I really need to make plant labels for all my things. I'm already forgetting like certain varieties. I need to take off these store tags. Yeah, I'm gonna see what this big old carrot here looks like. It's probably just gonna be something small. I don't know. Oh, it's not very big. It's crooked. <laughs> that is one twisted weird looking carrot. Let's see what else is in here. This in here looks pretty big too. Another. <laughs> it's got multiple legs. Let's see here. Well, this one looks. Hmm. Short, fat little carrot. <laughs> I guess it's probably because I started these off in containers and then put them in because I didn't feel like uh, trying to get them to germinate out here. Let's see what this one's like. Oh, this one's an orange one. Hmm. Some hilarious looking carrots here, but I don't have to make like a salad with or something. And they'll probably taste just the same. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest a bunch of greens and things now. And get some of these onions. I planted an onion here and it just has split into all these other little onions. It's kind of weird. I didn't know onions would do that like garlic. I'm just gonna pull out this one here and just see what it's like open. Let me show you. Isn't that strange? I'm just gonna bring this inside and eat it. Along with my other stuff. Get it all cleaned up, it's probably pretty pretty tasty. Birds are finally starting to come back, so let me go ahead and take this. Pretty sure that's the only pepper I have. Little ones here, I guess. Tomatoes are ready, but they have a ways to go yet. Yeah, at least take a while to ripen, it seems like. New ones, though. that's awesome. 
we still have a tomato from this maybe. Radish flowers, these ones are purple. These ones are kind of like a lighter purple one and these ones over here are white. Hmm. I think they're all the same kind of radish though. I'm going to harvest some of these seed pods that they have. So I like to eat those in my salads. I'm gonna make a salad out of my lettuce here, my carrots. You know, these are kind of weird shaped, but they actually are really easy to clean because of the being grown in the sand. <laughs> I think they'll taste good. This onion that split into all these little ones was really good. I, I uh, kind of ate the end of one and it's like creamy, kind of really good. It's really sweet. I'm going to chop up all this stuff here, make a big salad, and I think I'm going to save the carrot tops. These are really, really, really nice carrot tops, and there's all these recipes um, for them. You can substitute it as like parsley, so I think I'm going to use some to make like a dressing for my salad, and then the rest I'm going to dehydrate and just mix it with my parsley, so it'll be kind of like carrot leaf and parsley leaf mixed together that I can use for when I just make different recipes. I have about, I don't know, if I mash it down, maybe a cup of the leaves here, really tightly packed in there. This stuff here is all like kind of tough, so I'm going to throw it away. I just peeled off the, the tender leaf parts. If I'm going to put on my dehydrator and just dry them out and I said mix them with my herbs. These I'm going to make a really interesting dressing to uh, go with my salad. I have some turmeric here and some ginger left over still from stuff that I grew and harvested and some little pieces of garlic here. Some peanut butter and I'm going to crush it um, and just crush all these things together and put them in this bowl and I'll be back. Now that I have all my ingredients ready I'm going to just mix all this together really really well. I have some warm water that I'm going to add just a little bit to it at a time. Start off a little bit like that just to help mix it together and thin it out a bit. And I'm just going to keep adding water and mixing it together until I get the nice consistency that I want. Add a little bit of salt there. I'm just going to keep mixing this together. I think this is about the consistency I want it though. Okay, I'm just going to pour a little on here. And I will enjoy this salad. Looks a little strange, but it is delicious. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Bye.